Wow. We are not in the boat. Oh, okay. Here we go. Hey. We got you and we got you. Let me put on my music, but not too, not too loud, because then people are going to complain. Here. There. Morning, Alexander. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. So today we're still working on that snail ship. Some more. This needs to be finished. <laughs> yes, I am late. <laughs> <laughs> Hola, Rogero. Um, this thing, I, I tried putting in these cuts last time, and I don't think I like them. So I'm going to just skip those cuts for this time. I mean, these, this one and this one. Um, let's try to make it work without them. I think that's one of those things that looked cooler in the sketch, but then when I try it, it's kind of lame. All right, let's see. Let's see. Does that work? Hmm. I'm trying to make this even all the way through, and it's going to start. Anytime there's things that are closer together, it starts to pinch. So let me see. Let me go over here. You can see what the hell's going on. So right here, weird stuff going on because there's two right right next to each other. So let's see what happens if we get rid of that. It's a little bit better. We could go like we want to ease this out, so it's not. You know, this piece here is pretty tortured. You know, that's that looks pretty harsh. So maybe we can go here, make life a little bit easier for that piece. what you want to do I guess let me see let me go back actually maybe this tortured piece is fine I kind of like that <coughs> the shape the sort it blends all the way down look that way hmm Still need this crease here. Hey Tyler, um, yeah, I think I'm. I'm gonna be trying to do. Um, I'm gonna try to do the Blender online class this year. All the way through, unless something comes up and I have to go, um, or I, I can't uh, devote the time to it. But I'm gonna consciously try to do. Do as much as possible, so yeah. Um, boop, 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 boop. And yeah, we got the term going right now. Or yeah, there's one term going right now, there's one happening in January. 
or I mean it's already January but I guess next week it's starting pretty excited about that so if anybody wants to learn some blender come on down it's an online class so you can stay in your pajamas my preferred method Um, the online course, okay, let's go over here. I'll show you the syllabus. It's a seven week um, online course um, for Blender. It's kind of an intro to Blender and it goes through everything. And uh, here I'll just share you the details. But yeah, we go through seven projects and starting off with like a low poly night street scene, and then we go into sculpting, a tractor, uh, a deep sea diorama with fish and stuff, and then we do sci-fi corridor, machine and Krieger. All this stuff is better with pictures actually, so I should probably show you guys what we do. But it's the whole thing is geared towards concept art because that's that's what I use Blender for. I use it for work on on uh, animation and film and video games and stuff so that's the angle that we're going in the in the class yeah all right Tyler yeah I'm, I mean we should be uh, still having it for next term so that'd be awesome to to uh, have you in there This is, should I, do I want this to be softer? Maybe it should be softer. Maybe this can go here. It's creasing right there, because I guess it needs a little more geometry there. So when we add in extra geometry right at that corner, it has more to go around and it doesn't get all choppy there. All right, and then this thing is blended in too, but oh man, that's gonna be a mess. So I gotta make sure everything is um, proportionally correct before I start doing that because that that's going to totally screw up any chance of uh, flexibility so right now we're like semi flexible here can even get rid of some of these loops to uh, get it back to something reasonable Oh, this is going to be a pain. The circle. Or the sphere. Oh, my God. Because the, the sphere. Mm -hmm. All right. I think the sphere. Um, I'm going to go Alt C. Oh, what is that? What are you doing? What is that? Bisect. Okay. Because what we really have here is a. Let me. What am I doing? Let me get rid of all this. Mirror before the subsurface, so so that it doesn't get that crease there. So mirror has to happen first, and then the subsurf. And then, um, right there. So now we can make all of this. I 
I think a little bit of a teardrop, teardrop shape here. Because over here, it looks like it doesn't even, it doesn't really undercut here, like what here we're getting undercut. So this should be straight back somehow. Maybe this uh, bottom part is a little bit lower. Maybe it's like that. And then it, uh, yeah. This is going to be uh, tricky, I think, because we got two very curved shapes intersecting, plus that crease right down the middle. Hmm. And then this has to widen out, actually. This, this part here. Oh, shoot. Actually, it widens out. Yeah, like that. So I'm trying to get these two parts of the puzzle to be as close as possible before we merge them together because um, that just makes it life easier for you. Okay, so is that the right shape here? Uh, no, this is not the right shape. It's, it's much pointier <laughs> and narrower. So what am I doing wrong? I think the snail part screwed this up. Trying to get this curve here to be a little bit more even. It looked like warped a tiny bit. You know what? I should save this before it uh, crashes, probably. Oh, here we go. I wonder if, um, wait, what is this? Is this my uh, reflection? Okay. So this little reflection sphere is giving us, is it though? Doesn't really seem to be doing anything. Um, let me see. Does it do anything? Hmm. 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 <laughs> uh, let me try that one more time. Let's see, bake lighting. That should make the cube, the reflection probe work. All right, I think, I think it's doing something. Free lighting, yeah, there we go. Bake lighting, that, so it makes a nice clean reflection there. That's, uh, 
way better looking than the than the screen space reflection. Cool. What if I make this huge? Yeah, okay. If we um, make a little studio set up here. Well, <coughs> sorry. Got to reset the scale here so it doesn't freak out like that. I just want a smooth gradient like that. Let's see if that, see if the reflection probe can pick that up. And see that gradient right there? from the bottom to the top, how it goes white light to dark, that's coming from the reflection probe gathering this uh, this corner here. So like if we move this back and make it like that, let's see, let's try it, let's try and bake it. And so pay attention to uh, right, right in here, that's the reflection. See that? We move the, the background away and it Fade it out. But up here is a sharp, sharp corner, a uh, sharp reflection because it goes from the floor straight to the black background. So maybe we can try to do that over here too. Fade it out. I don't know. I just want to try it. Let's see, fake lighting. Oh, it already. Did it do it already? Oh, huh. Sometimes I wonder, I don't know if you guys know how this works better, but if, if this probe is to this side of the ship, does the ship block the reflections? You know what I mean? Like if I move this over to this side. Oh, yeah. So now the reflections happen. But if I move it to this side, then it only happens on this side and the ship I think it's like reflecting the ship too. So what happens if we put it in the middle? Does it get nothing at all? Oh no. Oh, that works in the middle. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not a, uh, I don't totally know how this stuff works. Like, I don't know if, does it, is it better to hide the whole ship? Let me see. Let me get, the everything except for the ship. And turn off the cutters. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna invert my selection so I only have the ship. Press M and make a new collection called ship. Just so we can separate it or just turn it, turn off the ship for a second. And then maybe we can grab the reflection here. Um, bake the reflection here, and then turn the ship back on. And that seems to work, I think. Anyway, that's cool. Uh, hello, Manu. Are you going to do final renders with Eevee or Uh I think Eevee. Just Eevee. got distracted here. What was I doing? I got distracted by the eye candy. I might turn off this uh, so you can see. The cool thing is we could turn off the, uh, the background but still keep the reflections <coughs> from, the, from the probe. So I think that's kind of neat. Takes into account whether it's behind normals. If it is directly on the mesh or it's normal, it lights up. Hmm. But how does it decide like what to block and what not to block? Maybe there's a area of influence where it like ignores stuff in the center. 
This reflection is kind of freaky here. I don't know what. It's, is that really how it? I'm gonna try to get this to go around the corner here. Maybe, uh. <clears throat> It's like that. Ooh, no. I basically want a loop that goes around like that, which is happening right now, but It's like uh, here and here. Does that help? Possibly. It's a very steep angle there. Ah, there we go. Could also change the smoothing angle here. See these creases there? All you gotta do is, um, let me save this. And you look for your normals, and the angle here. Increase that a little bit. That'll uh, get rid of those. Okay. It is blocked by the normal facing side of the mesh itself. Oh, okay. So if it's on the inside of a mesh and it's it's seeing the back sides of the faces and it doesn't it ignores the back sides of faces, is that what it means? That makes sense, I guess. You know what? I want to do a little experiment here. All right, just to illustrate that, let's do a little experiment. Let's bring our, our light, pro light probe. So in that case, it should ignore all of the, the whole cube, right? Because all the faces are, um, the faces are all, oops, facing inwards. And what we what me, we mean by inwards is this: uh, if you look at the face orientation here, when you go inside the cube, oh, where's the back faces? Oh my God! Yeah. So when we go inside an object, it is uh, we're seeing the back faces, which are represented in red. Outside faces are in blue. For example, this is the top side, uh, the front side, and the back side of this plane. So, you know, like if we go like that, there we go. So, just the reflection probe should ignore any uh, back back faces. Let's go big light. Let me turn off.
It's, I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit slow, so sometimes I need to like make sure the things are working the way I think they're working, and sometimes they don't, sometimes they do. So I like to do little tests like this if I'm not sure or if I'm learning something. All right, let's see, bake lighting. Uh, so now it should um, show up. Yeah, there we go. So now we see the cube. <coughs> It's actually reflecting itself, which is kind of weird. But there's the cube right there, because it's outside of the center point of this reflection cube. But if we go and we envelop that center point of the reflection probe, it disappears. So it's gone. Maybe this will make more sense if we add in a sphere or something. All right. So see, in our reflection, we're, reflection, we're reflecting the cube and the sphere. But um, if I were to cover up the probe with the sphere, now the sphere is gone. OK, that makes sense. And yeah. And there's also screen space reflection, which is another type of reflection. Let me turn that off. All right, so now we're going strictly off of the probe. That's cool. All All right, anyway, this is boring. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hi, Khalid. Khalid? 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 What did I do? What did I do? All right. <coughs> Save this. Let's try to combine this and this. All right. Moment of truth here. Let's oh, let me get rid of all this crap here. I just want the regular geometry so we can see what's going on and uh, you know this going right here would be very convenient maybe I'll just go like that just to match up right there that would be very much appreciated And uh, we probably need one here. Yeah, like that. And like that. Let me make sure these. 
these are really actually matching up here. And it. Yep. Wow. So I'm going to continue to try to <coughs> make, make these match up. Before we do any cutting, before we create a million end guns, because then it's by then it's too late. All right, I think this is good. I'll go add, which it intersects or it, it adds them together. So I gotta get rid of all this crap on the inside. Get rid of all this crap on the inside. All that, all of this, all of that. Bye bye. Bye bye. Nice knowing you. Nice knowing you, 2018. All right. Over here. Right. Now we just clean this up. One, two, control J, one, two. Oops. Sorry. One, two, control J. One, two. No. This one's tricky. Oh, what 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 did I do? Oops. Oh, that is quite horrible. Can I connect here to here with J? No. Can I connect here to here with J? No. I did something really horrible here. Um. Hey, F. Go like that. There. There. Okay. This is probably going to be really horrible if I try to uh, see what this looks like. I'm almost. I'm a little bit scared to see what it looks like. So I'm going to. Not <laughs> until we're at a better stage here. Maybe. Oh, God. Oh, man. Here we go. Here we go. This is looking a little bit reasonable. So it's it's gonna have a a tight a tight fillet here because these two are close to each other, and then it's gonna blend out and become soft over here because these are spread apart. Or at least that's what I'm hoping. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, something funny going on. Oh, that's it. See, these little triangles here are cramping our style, so maybe get rid of. Yeah. You can go here instead. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, but here in the sketch, you see this reflection? It goes down and then up. It actually comes all the way down here. Shit. I totally messed that up. I need to... Um, th okay, th this has to go way down almost wrapping under the circle or the sphere. So, okay, let's try it. We need some more edges here. Wrapping all the way 
tucking under like that, maybe. And this is uh, going like that. So this is getting kind of wobbly. So um, this zigzag means that there is a, a tuck in like that. It's getting like sucked backwards, and then it's blending back out. I think, yeah, some uh, a little bit more extreme. I need more suckage. A little bit more suckage. Uh, Like this, I think. Uh, where does this go? Oh, yeah. You know what? Maybe I should just turn off the smoothing here. make it a really high angle, like 90 degrees. Um, usually to what percent loss do you bear in your model to its resemblance to the picture? Good question. I think it uh, depends how bad the, the drawing is. Like this drawing, I think, is fine except for this part I, I didn't like how it looked in 3d so and also this little ball here so I might I don't know I, I just keep the parts that I like and then get rid of the rest but it's almost never exactly exactly the same as the drawing all right I want this See, this is kind of like a corner here. I'd rather if this was a bit smoother. So maybe I'll um, smoother. Yeah, that's better. But still kind of cornery over there. Getting, getting messy here. Ooh, that's probably why. There we go. Something about this is just really satisfying. All the smoothing and just looking at it. I don't know. It feels like butter. It feels luxurious smoothing. It's very fun to look at. All right, so now I'm going to reevaluate what the changes I've made. And now I feel like um, I went a little bit too extreme on the sharpness here, because it looks like that this S curve here is, is pretty soft. It's like bloop, it's like a big bloop. And this is more like a slice, like ch -ch -ch. So it needs to be um, a little bit softer, which means probably less edges in here, less edges. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's just getting rid of an edge there. Maybe get rid of a couple more edges. There, now it's softer. Uh, uh, maybe this one too. Okay. 
I'm just going to keep removing edges until I feel like it's soft enough. This one more. Oh man. What happens if we go here? And I like to switch between the two pretty often just to make sure I'm not going too crazy with it. Because it can get pretty messy, like especially if you crisscross or go too far. I wonder what this would look like if it was spread out. Ooh. Oh yeah. Well, that was fun. <laughs> uh. Does auto smooth affect the model when it's heavily subdivided? Um, yeah, it does. It affects it just the same as it does any other time. But you're right. It, it doesn't affect it as much because things are already kind of like the angles between faces are much less than it would be if it was um, low poly. All right, so, so I'm getting a pinch here in the middle, which I don't really like. So the, the, this, the way to fix that is pretty simple. You just space these out evenly, like one, two, three, uh, boom, boom, boom. Because right before it was like that, right? So that should be nice and circular. Or not circular, but smooth. And I love, I really like this. I like this um, pinch and then it fades out. Any kind of fading or transitions and stuff like that is always pretty satisfying, I think, uh, to look at. So this is a little bit choppy here, but we could try to increase the subdivisions, see what that looks like. Hmm. I'm trying to add a little bit of geometry in here so that, because the problem is the, these faces were a lot bigger than the others, and also they have a lot of twisting in them, so uh, they were getting a little bit like um, uh, low res, I guess. Like you could see the polygons in there. So 
especially when this was lower. But so I want to try to help it kind of manually help it out. that kind of stuff right here. I usually end up just trying every single way <laughs> until I find one that, that I like. Um, Neo Dose, how do you switch so quickly from low poly? Um, I have a script for that and I have it on tab. So the script just turns on and off subdivision um, for you. But uh, if you want to get this, these scripts, you can get it at, um, just search Heavy Poly 2.8 on YouTube, and uh, the scripts are all there. OK, what am I doing? I think this is, I think this is all done here. What the hell? See if we can get some boostage going here. What is this? What where is this coming from? Oh, there we go. Maybe I should uh, close this off. What? Don't bleed. bleeding <sighs> 2.8.9 there we 
go. Isn't that cool? Why are these lights so freaking bright? Oh, I kind of wanted to just do that even from the side view, but it's not really taking it in the side view. Okay, these, these two need to calm down a little bit. Okay, maybe this uh, whole trying to do it with the volumetrics is not smart. Um, I'm going to try to do it. Oh. Well, that's kind of neat, too. But maybe it needs to be a spotlight. Yeah. Go to um, oops properties. Oh boy. That's not good. Space fart. Okay, you know, maybe that's not, uh, this is not good. I think, um, I think this better is better off as a, just a fake, uh, we, maybe we can fake a booster. We've got a couple minutes left before we gotta go. Oh, I know. Th this uh, this needs to be. What am I doing? This needs to be lower, so we can subdivide it. What did I do? Oh, man. Six. Probably something like that. I don't know what the shape of a uh, of the exhaust is supposed to look like, but th this whole setup back here is kind of weird. I might I might end up just Oops. Oh, 
come on. Give it to me. And ugly. Ugly. Maybe it's better if it goes down. Okay. Let's give this a uh, new material. New material. Do, 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 do. This can be emission. Color can be uh, boop, 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 boop. input. Uh, let's go to shader editor. Do uh, Fresnel. <laughs> so what does that look like? think of that maybe it's like that could try uh, noise Ooh. Ooh. oh oh what about that all right let's let's put a color ramp on here color ramp that way we can control the colors a little bit. Make it go from blue into pink or something. I don't know. do but I could also make it go transparent so um, we mix these two and it's probably gonna crash at some point here so let me save it and <coughs> all right so this goes into the mix no something else goes into the mix color ramp This needs to have um, alpha blend for the, is it alpha blend? Is that how it works? Maybe not, it's gonna crash. Oh, whoa. Well, I think it crashed. <coughs> I seem to have made my toolbar too large for Blender to handle. Okay, let me uh, well, it's been fun guys. I think uh, Blender's gone on vacation for today and actually it's time for me to go too, but <coughs> I hope that was fun and uh, I hope you'll join me again tomorrow for some more Blender fun. Okay, have a good day, and uh, rest in peace, 2018. Hope you had a good year. I'll see you next time. Good start to the new year. <laughs>